Hi, I'm Michael Lersky. I'm with TradingMarketTechnicals.com. I'd like to share with you a, a short video on a mechanical system using the Williams Percent R. Um, the difference uh, from maybe uh, other ways you know, you've seen percent Williams Percent R used is that this is going to be a 30 period um, instead of the default 14 period. Yeah. A 30 period smooths out the indicator and hence uh, smooths out the noise. It is an oscillator but using a 30 period is a good indicator of uh, when price is um, either above 80 in this chart green uh, line or below 20 the red line. This is uh, suggesting that the price is trending um, in an unusual way. Going to use Goldman Sachs here. This is a daily um, daily chart. That the time frames, um, the, it works uh, from my experience. Um, it works better on a longer term chart. Uh, it does apply to a shorter term chart, but there's going to be more whipsaws. And this is again um, as defined. This methodology I came across by uh, with Price Heedley. Um, the first setup uh, for a long position is we are looking for a, a candle to to close above the close with the percent R above 80. We see here um, at 89. The confirm, the bull confirm, is to find another to have another candle within another four candles close above this high, the first candle's high. So the first candle high was 101.36. We're looking for a close within another four candles above 101.36. The very next candle closes at 102.02. So we have it, we would be long on the close of this candle 102.02. Our stop loss is a close below the low of the first candle. 99. We hold that position until such time that we have percent R moving below, back below 80. That happens here. Um, but that, that is not where we get out. That is our new stop loss. Um, our stop loss is always a candle that closes below our new stop loss. So we didn't have a stop. We didn't get stopped out because we never had a close below 98.36. We're just establishing a new stop loss here because percent R came below 80. So our new stop loss is a close below 103.65. The next candle travels below that but it does not close above that. And this is where the, the beauty of this 30 period percent, percent R works. Price Heightly says this is a fake out, intraday fake out to move here where um, myself included have, would certainly have gotten out making a new low from the previous day but we don't close there. We wash out the week longs or the markets week longs are washed out and the, the stock practically reverses on that same day. You're holding your long through this pullback and you're riding it until again percent norm travels below 30. Um, I'm sorry, below 80. So that happens here. First time percent R moves below 80. That becomes our new stop loss. We are looking for a, excuse me, a close below the low of the day here, which was 116.24. We don't get it the next day. We don't get it the day after. We get it here with a close of 113.15. So we had a, we had a, a trade here which we initiated at 100 or so. 
we brought our stop up. We could have added here at 103 and we're getting out at 113. Certainly uh, there is money management opportunities to be used here um, all the way up. This is quite a run. Um, I'm not sure many of us should be giving up uh, $10. <coughs> but uh, here's an, this is the example of the potential. Another example, this is uh, current um, in January, mid-January of 2013. We have a move above percent R, 80. Um, we're looking for a close above the high, which is 128. We get that two days later. We get a, a close of 129.72. Our stop loss is a close below the first uh, the first setup candle. Unfortunately, we, we wear this down for for five dollars, but uh, and we get a percent R move below 80 again. This now becomes our new stop loss, a close below the low 125.34, and we'd still be long to this day. As another example, I have Apple here. Back um, in two, uh, December 2011, first move above percent R80. We get a close above that high the very next day. We start to move higher. We get a move here below 80. We bring up our stop loss to a close below that low. It doesn't happen. It allows us to ride for another hundred dollars we get a close below 80 allows us to add if you want to and or and certainly move up your stop loss a close below this low would be your new stop loss price moves below it the day before but does not close below it gives you an opportunity to ride it another hundred and forty dollars stop loss uh, next time we come below 80 is uh, in April. That would be a close below this low is our new stop loss. We don't get it, uh, we get it right here, excuse me. Stop the next day. Again, a money management to uh, 640 down to 680. That's a $60 uh, stop loss. I don't think um, anybody should be holding that. Uh, <laughs> That's an understatement. Um, so money management uh, accompanied with uh, the, the methodology um, certainly not going to work all the time, but uh, it does uh, pose additional opportunities for those who like a mechanical system.